Greetings from Botswana. I have kind of an important message to, to get through to you. This is actually part four of our series uh, about the Antichrist, the tribulation and such. This has to do with what is in the Bible, a uh, planet or star referred to in the Bible as Wormwood in Revelation 8, 10, and 11. Uh, the scripture also says in Revelation 12, 12, Woe to the inhabitants of, inhabitants of the earth, for the devil has come down to you with great wrath, because he knows he has but a short time. Why does the devil know that he has a short time? We always tend to think, of course, because he knows it won't last that long. He knows that there's a, a short tribulation period, relatively, of uh, the reign of the Antichrist. But I think the reason he knows that he has a short time, one of the main reasons, is because of this wormwood, or what the rest of the world is referring to as Planet X. Of course, I say the rest of the world, a lot of the world doesn't even acknowledge this, doesn't acknowledge its existence. So I'm just going to try to tell you what I know about Planet X, because it is in the vicinity. It is something that is, has been uh, covered up. You know, people are not trying to let you know. And uh, to warn you about uh, a near asteroid pass, we don't have a, a distance on the asteroid just yet, the distance from Earth, but it's supposed to be in the about the third week of June, so it's not that far away. There's not an exact date, but this asteroid is supposed to be three quarters the size of Earth, and so it's something pretty big, and it's supposed to be visible from here. Now, the, uh, hopefully we'll have a link in the description uh, to the video I saw telling me about this. And of course, this is information on information, and so just regard it prayerfully. But uh, as it comes about with uh, Planet X and with uh, Wormwood, with these things, uh, the governments have not only decided to cover it up, I mean, they, I mean, they decide not to tell people, because there's not much that they can do about it. Uh, these things are just too big. It's not like the movies where Bruce Willis goes and blows up a big uh, asteroid. Uh, it just doesn't work that way. And so, uh, in 1979, okay, the, the rumors of this Planet X, uh, also known as Herculobus, Red Giant, and Nibiru, is how, I first, is, is how I first came to refer to it. Uh, the rest of the world, there were different documents and ancient writings that referred to this, all a part of great destruction, uh, coming upon the Earth by a, a giant planet. And NASA was seeing things in the, amongst the planets that indicated it was, they were under a gravitational strain. And so in 1979, they launched the Pioneer 10 spacecraft for the specific reason uh, to find out if, if this Planet X really existed. And they found out it really existed. They got the information. And for a few years, through 1982, you could still find articles on Planet X. But from 1983 on, the governments took over, and they decided they weren't going to tell anyone about this. Now, there's going to be a time, of course, that it can't be hidden. Right now, it's very difficult to see Planet X. But I'm going to tell you what uh, leaked information from NASA says about it, you know, what we can look to. Uh, one of the things is, it's important to realize there's so many talk about this planet. And then we think, well, there's this planet on this really long elliptical orbit that comes around uh, the sun and near the earth every so many thousands of years. Uh, but the truth is that planet X is part of a system. Uh, astronomers discovered a long time ago that most stars have a binary star companion. I have seen figures as high as almost 90% of all stars have this. And it turns out that our sun has this also. But as you can imagine, such a star would not be very close to the sun normally. Now our star is, uh, NASA has referred to it, calling it Nemesis. It is a brown dwarf star. They call it a failed brown dwarf star. In other words, it has never quite reached that state of nuclear fusion to, uh, to make it burst forth like our sun does. But it does put forth a lot of heat and a lot of energy, and it is very difficult to see. And most of the time, uh, it is better, it is best off being viewed from the southern hemisphere anyway. Uh, 
So this is uh, this is what we're looking at. And so it is that Planet X is supposed to be the seventh planet. There's supposed to be seven planets in the system, and uh, Planet X is the seventh planet. So here you have not just a, not just a planet going around the sun like this, but you have a planet and its planets going around one sun, and then that whole system spinning around our sun. And it does this every so many thousands of years, and it causes great destruction. And I'm going to get to what the Bible says about it. Please, 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 please read what's in the description. I'll be listing the scriptures from the King James Bible in the description, things that refer uh, to something very bad happening. I think in Revelation in the chapters 8 and 16, this mo these mostly tell of effects that come from Planet X, at least some of them. You see things like great earthquakes, 100-pound hailstones, water turning to blood, men scorched with burning heat, or days of darkness. Actually, I don't know that it says days of darkness, but there will be a great darkness. So this is what NASA discovered and affirmed in 1979. And really, this was suspected in astronomical circles since the early 1900s. I think there was even a, a, a reference from a 1623 astronomical recording. It's the effects that this system would have on other planets that tell you there's something out there, even if you don't know exactly where it, uh, where it is. Uh, Carlos Ferrada is a great uh, Chilean astronomer. He is deceased now. He is well known for predicting numerous earthquake, earthquakes based on planetary alignment and such. Uh, he referred to Planet X as Herculobus. That was his name for it. And he said that this system and this planet, they do not move according to the way the rest of the solar system moves. So these things are very difficult to see. But one of the things that the NASA said is that there is a lot of space debris with this system meaning a lot of meteors, a lot of junk that comes along with this system, which uh, may account for this, uh, for this asteroid near pass that is supposed to be coming up. Some of these, this, uh, these uh, debris trails were supposed to be moving into uh, our solar system like later this year. There's nothing you can do about it. This is not looked to be initially as, uh, let's say, extinction level. I guess that's what they call it. But if you look in Revelation chapter 8, you'll see a lot of the destruction that it does. This is where it's saying that uh, a third of the trees will be burned up. All the green grass will be burned up. You'll see uh, a third of the waters turn to blood. You'll see uh, the sun and moon darken for like a third of a day, something like that. It is a, a, it is a time that is not as intense as the later time. Uh, what is the time schedule of Planet X? Well, we don't know. I mean, we can't be sure. However, uh, most of what's being heard right now is like later in 2029 to 2030, which in a way to me makes sense because there is the UN Agenda 2030 trying to bring the world under one government by the year 2030. And it seems well to me that the Lord may be moving against this uh, just about that time, and just to make sure that it doesn't happen. It will not happen. Satan is trying to move fast, and a lot of destruction is going to come because of what the devil does directly. But what he has no control over is he has no control over Planet X or the system coming through. To me, in a way, that's an encouragement. It just shows that God is still in charge. And so I just thought I would entice you with a couple of scriptures right now. Uh, just so you know, I mean, the Bible does talk about these things, and it, it, it pays for us to really watch what's going on, and then also know the Bible, know prophecy, and then we could see, hey, maybe this is happening right now. Uh, as far as the effects of this asteroid coming through, they're kind of concerned about it. It's not scheduled to hit Earth, but I just, I just hope you realize from what I'm describing of this whole uh, planetary system coming through is that it doesn't have to hit the Earth to do damage. Okay. In fact, most of the damage will be because of the gravitational stresses. Other things coming upon the Earth would be uh, rising ocean levels. 
there is the anticipation of a, of a pole flip. In other words, the earth could flip, literally. And as a matter of fact, the scripture tells us about this. And uh, it's kind of, uh, kind of spooky when you see the predicted effects of this planet uh, coming through on our planet. So let me read a couple of these here. This is just from Isaiah 24, verse 1. Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty, and maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down, and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. We see also from verses 19 and 20 in the same chapter, and I'd encourage you to read all of Isaiah 24. It's very good. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. Then we also have from the words of Jesus directly, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor shall ever be. And except those days should be shortened, there, shortened, there should be no flesh saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. That is from Matthew 24, verses 21 and 22. Now I myself believe, believe this is what the Lord has shown me. You can't find it in Scripture if you don't believe me. Uh, if you're born again and you have the Holy Spirit, please follow the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. But uh, I asked the Lord about this. We're seeing all of these wars and such coming to pass, all of the dis uh, real destruction coming on that Satan is going to bring. He has no control over this other, that is planet X, which is a part of the, part of the judgment that God brings. But I was uh, asking the Lord, what about these wars? How do I warn people that World War III is at the door? How do I warn them about the positioning that countries have been taken and the things that are going on so that they're getting ready for it? Because we do have wars, and many times when we expect a war, it doesn't really break out. Or sometimes it's not as big as we think it is. Or sometimes it seems to come out of nowhere, which in fact it never does, but it's planned in advance. And the Lord showed me it's this. It's Wormwood. It's Planet X. It's by the timing of this, and as a matter of fact, the powers that be have been timing their takeover of the planet to coincide with this event, not because they have control over it, but because they knew it was coming, they still carried out their agenda, and they want to get things into place so that when they come out of their caves, they are building you know, residences underground in high mountainous areas. One of the best known is under uh, Denver International Airport in Denver, Colorado, USA. You can look up items on that. Uh, you will see that also, if you pay attention, uh, the U.S. government is moving many of its offices away from in, away from uh, low elevation areas. You know, they have planned for Washington, the capital, to move to Atlanta, which should be above the flood stage of these rising waters. We also know that, uh, let's see, who was it? Was it the CIA has moved into Colorado? Uh, another intelligence base has moved into Utah. I'm trying to remember what that is. Uh, but I know also, when we came over here, we went to Tanzania first, and President Magafuli had moved the capital from Dar es Salaam, that was on the coast, into uh, Dodoma, which is inland. And you'll be seeing that around the world. Everyone, is, all these nations are preparing. The leaders know what's coming, but they're not going to tell us until, I mean, we can't do anything, and they can't do anything about it. And so, in that sense, it's not... Uh, it's not an, it doesn't, you can look at it, as they're not incredibly guilty. But on the other hand, they are being very deceitful about their plans and, care, and carrying them out. In fact, it was Russia in 2012, they, uh, they broadcast an hour-long program telling their people about Planet X. And so if you've been watching, now you know that Christians are going to be here during the Tribulation period. And you will know that the effects from Planet X are... Uh, something that we have to deal with. And so I want you to know, I want you to trust in the Lord. He is our hope. There's also been reference in places like uh, Revelation 12, 14, 
that seem to hint that God is preparing a place for his people in the wilderness to be nourished from the face of the serpent for three and a half years. This is what I get. I see it both in 12.6 and 12.14. You have to take it by symbolism that the woman symbolizes the church of Christ and that God is giving her a place to flee to. But then again, you look at Revelation 18.4 and God is telling his people to flee. So you know that he is telling his people to flee. There will still be Christians there and he will provide a place for them. He will take care of us. It may not be the what we are accustomed to from the past, but let's trust in him and seek to glorify him. I also wanted to tell you, if you're doing searches on YouTube or on anywhere on the internet, you're going to find a lot of disinformation that you have to, to wade through. Now, I've included a link, hopefully. I've included a link. Uh, my wife puts all of this on there, and sometimes she's not too happy about it. But... Uh, but she likes doing it. She's still joy, a joyful Christian. But as you see, uh, this is trying to be covered up. One of, the, one of the most credible researchers that I had come across in the beginning was a man named John Moore. And he has a site, thelibertyman.com. And hopefully we will have a link to this in the description. And I urge you to go there and to, and to you'll have to look around a little to see what he has. I looked up a video from him that I had first seen. It was about an hour long, like 57 or 58 minutes. This was back in 2017, and I thought I would go look at it again on YouTube. This video had been, had been chopped to nine and a half minutes, and it cut off just before he said that his research was leading him to Planet X. So that's how serious they are about trying to keep things secret from you. I don't know why they do this, because in the end, they won't be able to hide it. For example, in Matthew 24, I believe it's either verse 29 or 30, where, it's, where Jesus is saying that then they will see, the earth is going to see the sign of the Son of Man first, and then the Son of Man. What is the sign of the Son of Man? And I believe that that is Wormwood, or Planet X. And uh, just as another sombering note, I told you that NASA had researched this from 1979. You're looking at 43 years now, but in 1979, Australia decided to build an observatory, and they dubbed it Project Wormwood. Believe me, people are taking this seriously, but the powers that be are not speaking about it. I say this hopefully for your edification and not for your fear. Our trust, uh, George Mueller, the late uh, 18th, 19th century St. George Mueller said, when we trust in the Lord, we are beyond disappointment. We know he's got our back. May God bless.